The Tradino system consists of the Dragon and a specially designed transporter. The hydraulic driven transporter is used to transport the Dragon quickly over longer distances. Solner employees were in charge of the computer aided design, construction, production and assembly of the special type vehicle. To dock the vehicle to the Dragon, it is first moved underneath the Dragon. The actual docking process is automated and uses a camera system. A red LED pentagon on the transporter guides the camera system which is installed at the rear of the Dragon. The two hydraulically adjustable radial piston pumps are shown here which are connected to the combustion engine via a shiftable reduction gear unit. On the belt side, the pneumatic compressor is driven by a V-ribbed belt. A combination cooler is installed in stepping direction in front of the engine to cool the components and fluids. The overall concept of cooling was a major challenge. Engine charge air, cooling water and the hydraulic oil are cooled in the upstream combination cooler. All in all, a cooling capacity of about 155 kilowatt is required to prevent overheating. The engine case not only serves the purpose of noise insulation, but also provides a flow passage for the airflow generated by the fan wheel. Step by step, all trunk components are then mounted. All trunk components were initially installed virtually in the CAD program. With a total of almost 10,000 single parts and an estimated weight of 3.6 tons, this is the largest assembly group. The time-lapse video impressively shows the actual process of the trunk assembly. Hard pressed for time, Zollner's technicians mounted all components to the appropriate retainers in the trunk very quickly indeed. The assemblies planned and designed down to the detail as shown in this example of the leg structure are designed on the PC using appropriate CAD systems. Each leg is connected to the trunk. The upper and lower leg and ankle with a total of seven articulated axles Additionally, the neck and head structure had to be mounted to the existing system. The head base received an additional degree of freedom for turning around the dragon's longitudinal axis. The challenge with respect to the head was to use lightweight construction but still enable the head to withstand the stresses exerted by the hydraulic cylinders and the forces resulting from the dragon fight. The skin and eyebrows are animated by means of pneumatically actuated fluid muscles to enable different expressions of the dragon's face. These muscles allow smooth and flowing movements even when facial expressions change slowly. Another major design effort had to be made in respect of the eyes, as can be seen from this view of the inside of an eye. Due to a lack of space, the complete drive of the eyes, which is by means of brushless motors, was installed in the eyeball. The mechanism hidden in the eye can reproduce the full range of movements of the human eye and additionally create slit-shaped pupils. Likewise, the early drive unit had to be located in the inside of the head using a push rod to prevent it from colliding with the outer skin. The complexity of the mechatronic system is reflected also in the design of the dragon's tail where a large number of rotary encoders and length sensors have to work perfectly together. Starting at the trunk connection, four welded sub-assemblies, each with two joint degrees of freedom, enable a high flexibility of the tail. Likewise, all supply lines of the hydraulic and electrical installations had to be planned in a suitable system and mounted appropriately. This close interaction of planning, production, assembly and functional tests 
is a fundamental prerequisite to the success of the project with its multitude of different technologies. Hydraulic oil is supplied to the hydraulic system by means of two large radial piston pumps which are shown in orange here. The two rear hydraulic pumps are fitted exclusively for cooling the fluid. The hydraulic oil tank is another tailor-made product manufactured by Sonar. For reasons of weight, the tank had to be as small as possible. The use of special CFD software tools at the development stage enabled us to reduce the oil reserve to just 21 gallons. The enormous complexity of the hydraulic system with 43 simultaneously controlled axles required extensive function tests. In that condition, the system already weighs 7.5 tons. The simultaneous motion of all 20 controlled leg axles impressively shows the possibilities provided by the four-legged walking machine. With the kinematic arrangement of the articulated axles in the legs, the dragon can walk round corners and even turn on the spot in addition to walking straight forward. With these first steps, the developers showed the world that the walking quadruped concept is viable. The concept required a lot of determination of the technicians and also gave them many sleepless nights and caused them quite a headache. The electrical system consisting of onboard supply system power supply in all control components was planned and represented in a system circuit diagram by Zollner Electronic. The circuit diagram includes all electrical and electronic components necessary to operate the walking robot. The flex ray star coupler is the central communication link between the main control unit the Dragon's decentralized control system comprises nine control units which are of modular construction. The control unit consists of a power supply module, a microcontroller module and up to eight I.O. modules that form the interface to the sensors and actuators. The printed circuit boards are installed in a tailor-made housing to protect them against environmental impact to ingress protection standard IP6005. The control units were constructed and equipped at Zollner's production area. The tests were carried out at the Zollner Development Laboratory. For this purpose, a test system was configured which was exactly tuned to the control unit's requirements to enable testing of its inputs, outputs and communication channels in accordance with the specifications. To operate the many functions of Tradino, a special remote control was developed which is precisely adjusted to the requirements of the walking robot in terms of ergonomics and functions. An autonomous radio emergency stop system was integrated to be able to stop the Dragon quickly and safely in a dangerous situation. It works completely independent of the Dragon's control functions and stops the system immediately when the emergency stop button is pressed.